Welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we have the official review of Selenko Hyper G Soft. Let's jump right into it. All right, so I was play testing this last week, Hyper G 17 gauge soft in a full bed on my normally gravity MPL that's customized. And if you saw my video regarding shape versus round polys, this is where everything became really clear to me. But let's talk about Hyper G Soft. So let's go through the attributes first into the snapback category. Snapback is very good. This has more of the traditional coating that most polys, or that 1.5 generation of polys have on their strings, sort of not a super slick coating. It is somewhat slick, but snapback is very good. <clears throat> I don't put it at the aggressive level like many Toraline strings or restring zero. Moving on to spin potential, I give it in between a normal and a high. So this is a four-sided poly if you have spin oriented strokes you can impart a little bit more rpm onto your balls with hyper g and hyper g soft or really any other four-sided string so that's pretty pretty obvious right but don't think to yourself if you don't have a top spin oriented swing that these strings are going to help you get a lot more spin they're not um, they probably won't give you really any more spin maybe very nominal amount of extra spin that's just the way spin-oriented strings work. The higher level player you are and the more spin-oriented you are, the more advantageous a spin potential string can be. Moving on to power, sort of just normal for a really good poly. Uh, power is normal, uh, nothing, no extra pop. It's not muted. It just has the normal power that you'd expect, no different than, say, an Alu Power or really any other quality poly or most quality polys. Now I've changed control to accuracy. So accuracy, I have it as the lower end of very good. So instead of just talking about control, I think it's a little bit more pinpoint accurate to talk about accuracy in terms of targeting. And with most four-sided polys, you're gonna have a little bit less accuracy when it comes to depth control, depending on how the ball grips into the strings and how it doesn't grip. So when it's a four-sided poly, what I've found, and I think many people have agreed with this, is that your accuracy in terms of depth will vary more than it would if it was a round poly. And that's why this accuracy category has been moved down a little bit, and it's sort of on the lower end of very good. I noticed that I had to try, I noticed that I had to have more commitment onto my shots and concentrate a little bit harder with a sh this shape poly than I do on a normal round poly. Moving on to durability, it gets a high, it lasted seven hours before it broke. It didn't notch up really aggressively. It did notch up a little bit, but it still moved. And I think that's because of the nature of a, of a sharp poly. Sometimes they groove, sometimes they don't. Um, there wasn't a lot of notching. I sense round poly sometimes will notch more so because they have more surface area that they're rubbing against. Tension maintenance was normal to high, a very good tension maintenance. It did not get mushy, it did not get soft. It stayed pretty great in terms of tension maintenance. Moving on to feel, these are medium soft strings or more in that medium range. So even though it's Hyper G soft, they're not really soft polys. They still play pretty crisp and moderately firm. That's why I call it medium soft. They are crisp, which a lot of people like, including me. It has a really nice feel and it has that classic Hyper-G plastic feel. Now, if people think plastic, they think that's really bad, but Hyper-G has a unique sensation to it that has, most people describe it as plasticky, and this, and this string maintains that sort of classic Hyper-G plastic feel. So what's my overall grade? I give it for intermediate, so that 3.5 to 4.0 level range, I think it's a C minus. I don't think most of those players should be playing with four-sided polys. At the advanced level, sort of 4, 5, 5, 0 ish, um, I give it a B. I think it's a very good feeling string. So if you like the Hyper G plastic feel, you're going to like these strings. Um, but I give it a B. I don't give it an A. And then the high caliber players as well, even though this is really popular with a lot of college players, um, I think college players would benefit more from round polys than they would for four sided polys or at least six sided polys or eight sided polys. And that's why for high caliber players, I give it a B because I don't think they should probably be using four-sided polys and I also don't think they should be using something that's medium soft. They would actually prefer something that's more like regular Hyper-G. <clears throat> so who is it for? It's for players who enjoy Hyper-G but want something slightly softer. It has the classic Hyper-G plastic sensation which provides a unique feel and characteristic and I can see why this appeals to some players. 
Its vertical accuracy is less precise, likely due to it being a four-sided shaped poly and it's harder to control the launch angle. Would I use it again? No, simply because I'm not a fan of four-sided shaped polys. That's becoming very clear to me. Um, I mostly want at least a six-sided poly or an eight-sided poly or even preferably most of the time a round poly. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next ace.